Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2020. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be reading Amos 1 through 3 and Revelation 6. Father, I just ask for clarity to you, boys, so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and for those who have tuned in from all around the world in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And they all said, Amen. Amos 1. The words of Amos, one of the shepherds of Teco, the vision he saw concerning Israel two years before the earthquake. When Azariah was king of Judea, and Jeroboam, son of Joash, was king of Israel, he said, The Lord roars from Zion, and thunders from Jerusalem. The, picture, the pastures of the shepherds dry up, and the top of Carmel withers. Judgment on Israel's Neighbors Amos 1, 3. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Damascus, even for four, I will not relent, because she thrashed Galeed with slages having iron teeth. I will send fire on the house of Hazel that will consume the fortress of ben -Hadden. I will break down the gate of Damascus. I will destroy the king who is in the valley of Evan, and the one who holds the scepter in Beth Eden. And the people of Aaron will go into exile to Kerr, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Gaza, even for poor, I will not relent, because the, she took captive whole communities and sold them to Adam. I send fire on the walls of Gaza that will consume her fortresses. I will destroy the king of Ashad and the one who holds the scepter in Ashkelton. I will turn my hand against Ekron till the last of the Philistines are dead, says the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Tyre, even for four, I will not relent, because she sold whole communities of captives to Adam, desecrating, desecrating a treaty of brotherhood. I will send fire on the walls of Tyre that will consume her fortresses. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Edom, even for four, I will not relent, because he pursued his brother with a sword, and slaughtered the women of the land, because his anger raged continually, and his fury flamed unchecked. I will send fire on Timon that will consume the fortresses of Bozara. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Ammon, even for four, I will not relent, because he ripped open the pregnant woman of Galilee in order to extend his borders. I will set fire to the walls of Rabah, and that will consume her fortresses. Amid war cries on the day of battle, amid violent winds on a stormy day, her king will go into exile, he and her officials together, says the Lord. Amos 2. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Moab, even for four, I will not relent, because he burned to ashes the bones of Adam's king. I will send fire on Moab, and this will consume the fortresses of Kenoth. Kiranoth. 
Moab and go down to great turmoil amid war cries and the blasts of the trumpet I will destroy her ruler and kill her officials with him says the Lord this is what the Lord says for three sins of Judea even for four I will not relent because they have rejected the law of the Lord and have not kept the decrees because they have been led astray by false gods the gods their ancestors followed I will send fire on Judea that will consume the fortresses of Jerusalem judgment on Israel this is what the Lord says for three sins of Israel even for four I will not relent they sell the incense of silver and the nearly and the needy for a pair of sandals they trample on the heels of the poor as on the dust of the ground they deny justice to the oppressed fathers and sons who use the same girl and so profane my holy name they lie down beside every altar on garments taken in pledge in the house of their god they drink wine taken as fines Mm, they. Yet I destroyed the Amorites before them, though they were tall as the cedars and strong as the oaks. I destroyed their fruit above and their iron, uh, their roots below. I brought you up out of Egypt and led you forty years in the wilderness to give you the land of the Amorites. I also raised up prophets from among your children and Nazarites from among your youths. Is this not true, people of Israel? declares the Lord. But you made the Nazarites drink wine and commanded the prophets commanded the prophets no not to prophesy. Now then I will crush you as a cart crushes when loaded with grain the swift will not escape the strong will not muster their strength and the warriors will not save his life the archer will not stand his ground the feet the fleet footed soldier will now will not get away and the horseman will not save his life even the bravest warriors will flee naked on that day, declares the Lord. Witnesses summoned against Israel. Amos 3. Hear this word, people of Israel, the word the Lord has spoken against you, against the whole family I brought up out of Egypt. You only have... I. You only have one chosen of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your sins. Do not walk together unless they have agreed to do so. Does a lion roar in the thicket when he is when it has no prey? Does a growl in the den when it has caught nothing? Does the, a bird swoop down to a trap on the ground when no bait is there? Does a trap spring up from the ground if it has not caught anything? When a trumpet sounds in a city, do not the people tremble? When disaster comes to a city, has not the Lord caused it? Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants the prophets the lion has roared who will not fear 
the sovereign Lord has spoken. Who can by pro who can but prophesy prophesy? Proclaim to the fortresses of Ashad and the fortresses of Egypt. Assemble yourselves on the mountains of Samaria. See, see the great unrest within her and the oppression among her people. They do not know how to do right, declares the Lord, who stores up in their fortresses what they have plundered and looted. And therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. An enemy will overrun your land, pull down your strongholds, and plunder your fortresses. This is what the Lord says. As a shepherd rescued from, rescues from the lion's mouth any two-legged bone or a piece of an ear, so will the Israelites live in Samaria be rescued with only the head of a bed and a piece of fabric from a couch. Hear this and testify against the descendants of Jacob, declares the Lord, the Lord God Almighty. On the day I punished Israel for her sins, I will destroy the altars of Bethel. The horns of the altar will be cut off and fall to the ground. I will tear down the winter house along with the summer house. The houses adorned with the ivory will be destroyed, and the missions will be demolished, declares the Lord. Okay, that concludes Amos 1 through 3. And now we're going to move down to uh, Revelation 6, I think. Uh-oh, the seals. This is the scary part, folks. I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say, in a voice like thunder, Come. I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown. And he rode out as a conqueror, bent on conquest. When the Lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come. Then another horse came out, a fiery red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people kill each other. To give to him was given a large sword. When the Lamb opened up the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in, its, in his hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures, saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages and six pounds of barley for a day's wages, and do not damage the oil and the wine. When the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades was following close behind him. And they were given powers over a fourth of the earth to be killed by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had ma maintained. They called out in the, a loud voice, How long, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? 
Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer until the fall until the full number whoa there tell the full number of their fellow servants their brothers and sisters were killed just as they had been i watched as he opened the sixth seal there was a great earthquake the sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair the whole moon turned blood red and the stars in the sky fell to earth as figs drop from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind the heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up and every mountain and island was removed from its place then the kings of the earth the princes the generals the rich the mighty and the and everyone else both slave and free hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains they called to the mountains and the rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lord for the great day of their wrath has come and who can withstand it and there you have Revelation 6 okay folks hey that looks like the end of the Bible with Frisco 2020 for today tune in tomorrow we will be reading Amos 4 through 6 and Revelation 7 father I just thank you for your word because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. So in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you and praise you. Amen. And they all said, Amen. All right, my friends, that looks like the end of the Bible with Frisco 2020 for today. And so, therefore, I'm going to have to say you all have a blessed night. Uh, and as always, I'm Shenandoah Briscoe. I've enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.